Robson with Brooks away to his left, but he decides to uh, to keep it open and employ Morris. Shields driven backwards. Penalty against Miles Reed. Brooks again. Thomas Young trying to angle his way towards that left hand side, and he's done enough. And he's still going, and they're still driving, and Wasp's defence has been splintered a little bit. Maybe options here, however. I think it was Josh Bassett doing what he could to slow them down. And then the drive from McNally, and Miles Reed is there as well, and Reed scored. And here goes Amanga up to halfway and then Bassett sprints it away. No one's going to stop him. No one will stop him. From 40, 50 metres, there was only ever going to be one gold medalist. Le Bourgeois and uh, Amanga and Knight neatly away. And then Robson accelerating onto it nicely, and Amanga, oh, that is brilliant, the Bourgeois was there. That is Wasps, velvety going forward. Off he goes, look at Roland, shoving for all his worth, but too much bath weight there, and there's a real opportunity now. McNally! That's how you respond. They've engineered another brilliant position to try to underline that. See Wasp trying to take the legs. Tom, uh, Taylor just misses there. Just goes underneath because of the height of Bath. Again, trying to snap the legs and stop any momentum. Mercer, Abano and Stoop, two very hefty individuals doing what they can do. Bayliss will be the next battering ram. He takes on Ben Morris. And then a Tavano, it's not getting any easier. Tavano goes on his own and he does it all on his own. Has he got there? Has he got there? So, Keith, I'm coming to you. Yes, Tempo. On field decisions of tribe is I have the ball on the line. I just need to make sure as it goes over, there's no clear knock on. I clearly have the ball on the ground over the line. Grounding will search for a knock on. Stand by. Taylor's actually wrapped his head up there. He gets to the line, referee's happy, that's a try. Thanks. Try them. Joseph, at the moment, increasing feeling that, uh, that Wasps are holding on here. McNally, Bailey, pops it up, that's beautifully off the floor, and then Reed, and the try will be scored. West. Oof. Ben Morris finds himself in an awkward position. Morris still down, getting uh, attention. TMO wants to have a look at it. I Tempo think it's head on head. Head on head contact. It's still, although the contact with the shoulders there, you've still got to be aware of what your head's doing. And if you're that high, okay, so you run the risk. I'm seeing that as high danger, Keith. Agreed. With force, direct to the head, and I'm seeing no mitigation here. I concur. So that's going to be a red card. Agreed. Hello. Uh, I think he probably knew in his heart of hearts, Beno Abano, who uh, not so long ago was celebrating scoring a try, now contemplating Who's a red card. Some early search from Bath, but Josh Bayliss flushed out of the way, and now Wasps driving towards the line. Now, who can stop them? They're trying to regain the lead.
magnificent Fekatoa running off him. Instead, it's Amanga. What can he conjure? Here goes a dog rule. There's the game. Wasps have done the double and in spectacular fashion again by 39 points to 29 and the entertainment throughout here at the Rico and down at the Rec at the start of the year has been five stars.